can talk loud. Oh, there we go. Yes. I can tell that was uh, well rehearsed. You buy the 11th book? <laughs> if you accentuate the tens of copies. I love it. I, uh, good morning. No. I believe right here. We're going to start this over because that was too much fun for me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. No one but ourselves control how we think, feel, or act. It is a personal responsibility for all of us to choose our own attitude. Thank you. (laughs) How many of you have ever had a really good day and you don't even know why? You wake up in the morning and you have this just unbelievable like, oh, I feel so good. Have you ever had that day? This is Audience Interactive, people. Thank you. What happens, though? You have that really good day. You wake up, and you're full of this positive energy. You walk in. You go to work. The first person you come in contact with, they suck every bit of happiness right out of you. No? If you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a pretty good chance you're the fun sucker. (laughs) Just saying. Ever had a bad day, and you know exactly why? People always talk about issues. You hear these stories even throughout today where it's like a little bit of a moisture has come to my eye more than once today here. And it's it's amazing. We all deal with stuff. We all have issues. The question is, is what do we do with those issues? We have bad days, sometimes more than others. Sometimes it could be catastrophic what we deal with. Sometimes that day is so bad that there aren't even words to describe people of what they're dealing with. Other times, I like to think of it as the speed bump, the hill, and the mountain. Other times, this speed bump, we project in our mind as a mountain, but it really isn't anything. I had a cup of coffee. I walked out to my truck, set it on top of the truck, loaded it, got inside, started driving down the road, and the moment I did so, I then reached for my cup, and it wasn't there. And at that moment, I remembered where it was. And at the same time, I heard it going that way. And I heard it in the rearview mirror, I see, hit the freeway. That one thing can change the trajectory of our day. That one thing can take us down a path in that day that changes everything. We become the negative energy in our workforce. We become a negative energy, uh, even worse, at home. So I think what happens is we need to make that choice right then and there. What can we do to not? Situations, I'm not here. No one, I don't think any speaker up here today is here to tell you how to get out of a situation. No one's going to tell you that this is all you have to do. This is the magic pill. No. What I do is hopefully take you away from the situation, not the situation away, but take you away from the situation, allowing you to have some sort of perspective to be able to choose the attitude going forward. I heard it said so wonderfully today many times. And it's like in my mind, it's like, well, how does that happen? What do we do in that moment? I don't know. I didn't want to get mad at this coffee cup, although that could have made me angry the whole day. What did I do? I went to the store and bought magnets and glue. Stick with me. I went back home and I glued a magnet to bottom of every one of our coffee cups. I don't think you guys are seeing the brilliance in this. If I ever forget another one on top of the truck, it's going to be there when I get to my destination. And if you don't find funny in that, you should do it. Go home, wherever home is, glue a magnet to the bottom of one of your cups, just one. Stick it to the top of your vehicle intentionally and drive around your community. (laughs) I guarantee you some good Samaritan's going to be like, there's a coffee cup on top of your car. Just look at him like, oh, thanks. Roll down the window, grab the cup, take a sip, (laughs) set it back. (laughs) You want to come out here, dude? Come here. You've been so good. Come here. It's okay. Yeah, that's it. Look at them all. It's all right. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> She's like, ah! you know, The best part is I threw it at you. You didn't move, and you actually got a little bit of air. I didn't, wasn't even going for you. You just looked upset. You know what? You're, you're going to have to laugh a little bit. you got to let it, just let it, if you hold it in too long, you fart. So you just got to let it, got to let it out. Hi, Beth. How are you? This is just a puppet. I didn't mean to scare you. You want to pet him? Come on, little pet. Oh, you're going to be perfect. Come with me. Give this lovely lady a nice round of applause. How are you? 
Good. Are you married or are you happy? Oh, both. That's wonderful. How long have you been married? Four years. Four years. Oh, that's why you're happy. All right, let's try this. I'm kidding. Um, do you think it's possible for a man to read a woman's mind? <laughs> Not even just a no, it's a pfft, no. All right, I'm going to try it. I'm going to attempt right now to read your mind. Beth. Yeah, I'm kidding. It's right there. All right, let's try this. For a second, though, I was brilliant. Think of a number between, say, one and a thousand. You have it? Concentrate on that number. Send it to me. Was your number 930? No? <laughs> Answer correct. <laughs> ah! Told you I could read a woman's mind. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. It's not often you get to take one person. No, no, get back here. It's not often you get to thank one person at a time, but today, thank you. Next time you're entertained by something, if you could just run around and make it sound like a group, that'd be great. All right. I do want to read your mind. I want to try it. Uh, do you play cards? Yes. All right, good. Skip that then. Let's try something different. Do you eat animal crackers? Yeah, these are amazing. I think they're actually made for vegetarians. I'm so happy you're here. Not a whole lot of vegetarians around here, obviously. I'm keeping that joke even though you guys didn't like it. Here, reach in there and take an animal. It's like picking a card, except you're going to take an animal. Fair enough? Do you have it? Do you know what it is? Yes? Turn it over. There's a shape. All right, hold it like this so I can't see it. Can you stand right here? I'm going to stand right over there. Don't let me see it yet. Concentrate on your animal. Do you ever watch the Animal Planet channel? Uh, yes. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? Yeah. You learn stuff you never knew. Did you know that hippos eat humans? You did? I didn't know that. I thought they only ate marbles. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Concentrate on your animal. Think of nothing but that animal. Here, let's do a little staging. All right, good. You have the animal? I do. Send it to me. Now, I'm a magician. I'm not an artist. So if I can get a drawing that resembles your animal, would you give it to me as me knowing your animal? God, I love it. All right. Before I show you what I think it is, <laughs> proof that a man can read a woman's mind. For the first time, tell everybody, what is your animal? A camel. Yeah, all right, that's good. So if, if this was to resemble your animal in any way, that'd be cool, right? Yeah, it's got the humps. That's pretty good. Okay. Do you think they're all the same? Um, yes. Yes? <laughs> you don't really care at this point, do you? <laughs> Some people think they're the same. I want you to take another one. Make sure it's different. If it's another camel, put it back. Do you know what it is? You do. That was quick. All right. Concentrate. It's not a camel, right? No, it's not. It's not a whale? No. Good. I'm trying to save those. Concentrate. <laughs> I've decided my jokes are going to be as good as your responses. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's try this. Concentrate on your... Oh, this is much better. All right. Before I show you what I think it is. <laughs> Proof that a man can read a woman's mind. Tell everybody, what is your new animal? A giraffe. Serious? <laughs> Just a second. <laughs> Forgot to draw something. <clears throat> Forgot to draw the spots. Huh? It's got a rare neck disease. They don't laugh at diseases. I know what you're thinking. If you could do some magic, now would be the time. <laughs> if I could do anything to impress all of you at one time, this is what I would dream. And do me a favor. Show this audience what I feel is the best part. This is ink and paper. It is. Give this lovely lady a very big round of applause for being awesome. You are wonderful. I appreciate you coming up. Please, just don't eat them. That would be horrible for you. 
How many here believe when you wake up in the morning, it's your choice whether you have a good day or a bad day? The speaker's in the back, yes. Everyone in the front, no. <laughs> when I talk about coffee cup days, we all have a story. I guess in the full presentation, I tell mine, um, but I've already cried enough today. I'm not going to tell you any more of this. Um, but I mean this seriously. We all have issues. Someone in here isn't dealing with a coffee cup problem. Statistically, there's a lot of you, but I guarantee there's one. There's one person in this room right now going through something in your personal life that the people next to you, your friends, don't even know. But someone's going through something so hurtful that if you were to share it, we couldn't even imagine the pain you're in. This is happening every day across our country. This is happening every day in your workplace. People bringing in baggage that comes from childhood, baggage that comes from every aspect of their life. Something's coming in. Whoever I'm talking to in this room right now, my hope is this, that for the past seven minutes or so, you haven't thought of that pain at all. Well, until I just reminded you. <laughs> but why? I think laughter. I think positive change. I think the idea of when you walk into a room, someone walks in behind you and you notice the room lights up because people have this attraction to this person. They give off what I like to think of and we all know as positive energy. Likewise, you've been in a room before, someone walks in and it kind of makes you feel, Ew, right? And it's negative energy. We can be the beacon of either one. We've heard it said today, sometimes we have the power to make one choice. Sometimes we have the power to do this. All of these things that you go through in your life, I believe that when you walk into any situation, you can change the situation merely by changing one aspect, and that is your face, and just smile. If you could smile at one person, in the story of my life, my life was saved by one act of kindness, and it was simply a smile. Someone acknowledged who I was, and it made me feel, okay, I'm going to be okay. But it didn't take my circumstance away. It took me away from my circumstance and allowed me to realize that I have the choice to choose my own attitude. It is my personal responsibility to choose the right path. Every one of the employees of your company, it is a personal responsibility whether they choose to be happy or not. It's a personal responsibility to have them have a good attitude or not. It is no one else's it is no one else's responsibility. It's ours. So what do you do? I don't pretend to know what you deal with. I don't pretend to know what hurts you, what ails you, what makes you sad. I don't know. I'd be a fool if I said I did. I know what I deal with. I deal with things travel. I travel a lot. I flew next to this guy. We didn't even reach 10,000 feet. And this is what I saw. <laughs> right? Most of you are like, okay. I don't mind snoring. I don't even mind uh, sleeping, sleeping's fine. But an open mouth drool snore from a man I don't know, that's not okay. So how do I pull myself away from this situation so that I'm not angry, to allow me to have perspective, to choose the attitude to move me forward in the right direction? How does this happen? By not letting this bother me? I don't know, I didn't. I befriended the flight attendant and I got myself one of these. And this is what I did. Wake up, sir! Quick, put yours on! <laughs> All right, that's mean, but he didn't snore the rest of the trip. He's like, right away, I got it. I'm good. Now, in the limited time today, I say this. I truly hope that you come here today, and now you're able to do something different. When you leave today, you will leave change. There's so much inspiration going in your mind. But I want you to leave with change. I want you to try this for one week, this week. Everyone you come in contact with this week, smile at them. Make eye contact and smile. Not creepy. Don't do that. Just smile. And at the end of the week, I guarantee this. The culture, even in your work, by this simple act of kindness, in your community, in your home, will change. I guarantee it. And if it doesn't change them, it will change you. And hopefully both. We all have a choice of what we do and how we interact with others. And I think if we were just a little bit more kind... You know, they have a little bit more grace. 
for people and uh, find a way to make yourself laugh. I think we can change the world creating positive change. My name is Tim Gabrielson. You guys are awesome. And uh, I don't, I don't want to see you anymore. No, I'm going to leave. So, <laughs> goodbye. Thank you all very much. You're wonderful. <laughs>